won't even believe it. They actually stole us. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing with my life? Good morning. We, oh, I left. Oh my God, I left this thing open for like 24, 38 hours. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. How many freaking spiders are in here right now? I swear to God. Like underneath a tree? Are you kidding? RIP, what the heck? That is the risk of me opening that overhead thing. What is it called? My sunroof? That is the risk always. Is she going to close it? And typically the answer is no. And I always regret it. So, oh my God, I'm like absolutely terrified right now. Like literally open for days, days underneath the tree. So <laughs> that's, good. that's exciting. That's good for me. Where are we going, Steph? It's Saturday. Why are you leaving the house? What's going on? It's 8.15. Great question. I am going to the 9 a.m. flow class. I think it's flow. Power? Sure. Yoga class. And then I teach, I'm subbing the 1030 because yet again, one of my um, instructors is sick. So I am teaching for her, but I already have a plan for my sculpt class. So I'm feeling totally fine about it. I am just gonna teach the same thing that I taught on whatever day that was, Tuesday. We're all good there, and it's been a while since I've taught at Foothill, so this will be really interesting. Just getting back to my roots. Sculpt class at Foothill. Oh, I completely forgot. If you know me, you know that I am a, I'm an extreme Post Malone fan. I've loved him since the jump for a number of reasons. So his country album came out yesterday, and not gonna lie, I had some reservations about it. No one's asking for this opinion, by the way, so if you don't even give a shit, just like, who cares? <laughs> skip skip past this. Um, but I feel like um, it's I'm doing my due diligence because I am such a big Post Malone fan. Anyways. Okay, so I had reservations about it because there's just this influx of like pop singers, rap artists, just really, really out there doing the most to try to dilute the country genre and it really bothers me. <laughs> I don't know why I have such an opinion about it, but it just really, really bothers me. Beyonce just, I just, it, I have, I have such a strong opinion about that, I, but I won't. Anyway, just a lot of people trying to dip their toe into the country genre. Although like, I'm okay with it if like, it seems genuine, but ultimately people are, I just know that it's not <laughs> and, it just really, it really annoys me that people are really just doing it to, trying to move into this area where like, no one really asked for that. Like no one, no one, no one asked for you to show up to this party. <laughs> I like when people dabble into things when it is authentic and genuine and it means something to them, but it, I don't think that it's, I don't think it's sincere. So all of that to say, Post Malone, I know that myself and a lot of his fans, especially since he's from Texas and he's kind of like covered some country songs and he's kind of collaborated with some country artists here and there randomly and which really hyped his fans up to be like, oh my God, like that would be so amazing if he, if he did a country album. And so I think for like at least three years, four years, I think actually since 2020, when he did like a home concert and he covered some country and everyone like lost their minds. I think that's when we all were like, oh my god hell yes this has to happen so this has been like years and years in the making so which is kind of why i talk i talked myself off of my cliff off my ledge and i thought you know what like this is actually something that this is people people actually ask for this like fucking nobody nobody asked for beyonce to do a country album literally no one <laughs> but everyone really really craved this from post malone and i think that's why i'm like actually excited for this album and why i feel like totally good about it although everyone in that industry i i believe is completely just a sellout and totally fake that's just my belief it's my own opinion i do believe that post malone still has he still has some heart and he still is sincere and genuine in a lot of ways that you don't find in other artists and other celebrities in my opinion. Anyways, long-winded review, just to say, I actually like this album. The only songs I don't love are the songs with Luke Combs. I'm not a Luke Combs fan. I'm not a Jelly Roll fan either. Very unpopular opinion for a lot of you. I'm not sorry about it. It's, I don't like him, but his song with Jelly Roll actually, I actually do like, it's growing on me. So anyway, that's my Post Malone F1 trillion humble review and Take that for what you will. If you didn't care, you probably skipped right over this and that's totally fine. So. 
Okay. Uh, thank you for listening. <laughs> Let's listen to Buzz Vlog. Yeah, yeah, I have like, there was the only thing I, that I could think someone steals, I had a few speakers in there that were in boxes. Yeah, yeah, so uh, they're pretty, I mean, they're not too big, but they're just brand new in the boxes, and we, I just bought them. So hopefully those are there, and as long as those are there, I'll be okay. Um, we're headed there right now, we'll be there in about 20 minutes. Okay, just Okay, yeah, I brought a new lock, too. Oh, awesome, okay, thank you. All right, thank you. See you soon. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay, reporting live. You'll never believe what happened. <laughs> you won't even believe it. They actually stole from us. Stay tuned. <laughs> Nick and I are trying to think of <laughs> we're trying to think of clickbait for this what's going on right now because it's like it's just really funny and it's good content. We're trying to make light out of it. Yeah. Um because I just I don't know. I just feel like I feel like we're gonna be okay, but who knows? So uh, we have some good stuff in there. Yeah, what we're what we're saying is that Nick got a call about 45 minutes ago saying- 9 a.m. sharp. Was it? Yeah, I think they were waiting to call everybody at 9 a.m. sharp. Sure, oh. That happened last night, so I guess they just waited. Okay, so there's been an incident. So I called and she said, I don't know, Steph will probably put some of the voicemail on this, or the voice uh, yeah. speaker thing. But yeah. at the very beginning, before I put it on speakerphone, she said, we had an unfortunate incident last night. That's the title. Unfortunate <laughs> incident. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we had, an we had an unfortunate incident. We had an unfortunate incident. You're right. That's oh that. That's oh the best clickbait ever. And then we go and we go, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that mail. Yeah. Okay, but anyways, <laughs> we're not, they don't even know what's going on. They're on the edge of their sheet, seat, Nick. <laughs> they're, <in> <laughs> they're on the edge of their sheets. Because they're in bed. <laughs> okay. So someone apparently broke into our storage unit last night. Multiple storage unit though. Yes, but ours was one of them because uh -huh. they, um, during their routine check, as she said, um, there are, there wasn't a lock on our storage unit. So that's concerning. And we're going to go s investigate the situation, um, hoping that they didn't steal our audio equipment, specifically our speakers. So yeah. I had a Sonos subwoofer in there. So I'm really glad I got that out of there. Mm -hmm. That would have been yeah so uh that's the tea and uh stay tuned for the what it, what do i want to say uh, look at all these cyclists they're just like <laughs> for the conclusion of this of the incident oh my gosh and <laughs> and look at this All right, we're good. We're clear. Uh, Nothing was stolen that we can see. So uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a disappointing clickbait for everybody. I know, but you know, should we was, just tell them something was, was stolen? Exciting, they stole our hearts. They stole my morning. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All of our equipment was still there. Yeah. They but they grabbed one of our like what is it called? Our microphones, but they didn't take it. They grabbed our psychos. microphones. They um they grabbed some little like thermostat like discs that turn the heaters on and off but they didn't take it but they didn't take it so i don't know i think they they must i think they got caught they i think they did too well, where'd they start from they probably Red start handed. from the back end actually we should turn around we should go see let's see the different ones they stole because i'm sure they're not all these. okay both of those damn so they went in quite a few back in the car so that was an interesting morning for sure <laughs> I can't believe someone actually broke into our unit. They broke into basically our whole row, but not all the units, that makes sense. So they broke into maybe like six units in that whole row. Um, we are one of them. I'm so glad that nothing super expensive or whatever was stolen. Um, that's like, 
the best case scenario for us, obviously. So happy about that. But I um, originally really wanted to go take class this morning. So I am headed back into town. So yes, that is a lot of driving for me this morning, but um, I just feel the need to be more present at the studios right now. And I just really want to take class because it's been a while since I've taken, um, taken class, especially this one. So yeah, we're gonna go in, we're gonna have a time at the studio, hang out in the office probably for a little bit. And um, I have a laptop that I need to set up for my manager. So we'll have to get that dialed in. And there are people riding horses. Yeah, and just have ourselves a little time in the office because um, no one's gonna be there today. So I have it all to myself, I think. And that's that. Good morning. I just taught a bar class. It is now seven something in the morning, 7-11. Look at that. And now I was debating whether I wanted to stay for boot camp, but I just feel like my body has just been craving yoga. So I'm gonna do that. And if I feel like I have the energy, I might take the noon ride class today just cause I haven't been to the ride studio since I've been home. And so I feel like that would also be productive for me to do that. So that's the plan. I guess for now though, that means I'm going to head to Laurel and maybe do a quick walk before I get to the 845 um, yoga class. That's going to be the best thing for me. It is foggy as hail outside. Like what is, again, fall. Fall has arrived. Thank you. It is the afternoon. That was a long morning, but that was so freaking productive. Holy smokes. Wow. Okay. So had a really great meeting with my managers. We've got some systems in place. Things, things are a little bit more dialed in and I'm just feeling very, very good about that. Um, we've got a game plan we have processes. We have clear responsibilities. This is, I feel like this is going to be good. All that to say I'm very hungry and so Nick and I are going to meet for lunch. I feel like I need to just kind of debrief him on the meeting even though he was there for most of it. Yay! It's nice outside. I'm loving it. Heavily caffeinated which is awesome. I had a great yoga class. I had a great walk this morning. I did not feel the need to lift weights today which is a very hard decision to have to make but you know I'm like let's be let's be honest with how we're feeling and Steph you should probably not lift weights today okay <laughs> so she didn't lift weights and that's hello that. I am a sporty queen today I'm headed into the Foothill studio to meet Nick and our managers we are officially doing the Foothill glow up today. And by glow up, I mean, we're doing a full rearrange of the furniture and I'm gonna try to get a time-lapse of it. Uh, I think I'm going to be late to the party. I know I'm late to the party. It's 11 o'clock right now and I'm supposed to be there at 11 o'clock. Like that is very out of character for me, I'll say, but I really wanted to enjoy a slow morning and I ended up uh, having to work on my class for tomorrow because I'm teaching bride at 7 30 and I didn't have a set list so I started to work on that and then um that took a little longer well not really it took as long as I expected but um <laughs> and then after that I needed to get a workout in and I decided on a 60 minute so um, maybe should have done a 45 but what can you do anyway I packed a lunch I made my matcha I have bags in the back right here uh, to take to Goodwill because I did a lot of purging if you will and organizing my closet this past weekend which felt so good I needed to prepare just for the fall season and I just needed to see what I had and what I'm not wearing it's just it was time it was time so two bags full <laughs> feels very very good uh so yeah so that's kind of hopefully i'll get to that today i'm just really excited to see this makeover at foothill i think it's just going to be 
so much better and so much more efficient and just, yeah, I think everyone's going to be really, really excited about it. So I can't wait to see people's reactions. I wish I was there tonight. I guess I could be there tonight, but that'd be a pretty long day. Maybe I'll get there tomorrow just so I can see reactions because I'm really excited about it. I'm so grateful for our managers. I say that a lot. I'm grateful for our team, but um, I'm glad that we have managers now. I think this is gonna be really, really good. It already feels like a good transition and a really good elevation of the studio and the growth of the studio, so. Okay, enough about that. I already talked about this. I sound like a broken record. So we're just gonna shut up and we are going to maybe go over our class for tomorrow just so we can make sure everything feels good for that. Yay! work exhausted. How do I define that is I am exhausted emotionally, mentally. That's how I feel. Okay, that's not right. Can you figure this out please? All right, we're gonna entertain ourselves on this drive home. It is 5.03. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap for today. I don't wanna think about anything. I don't wanna think about anything work related. <laughs> hey, you always catch me in the same spot in the morning. I'm headed to teach the 7.30 ride class right now. We changed this class time um, from 6 a.m. to 7.30 just because the 6 a.m.s just haven't really been taking off. Um, so we're just trying, we're just experimenting. The teacher who will normally take on this class, she's not here this week, so I am taking it on. Class is relatively small, but we could get some walk-ins, who knows? All of that said, I'm just excited to get back into teaching and um, it'll be kind of a good little <laughs> reinitiation, I guess, is that a word, uh, back into teaching rides just because it's been it's been a while. And um, it's a good crew, I, I know them well, so <laughs> I won't feel as intimidated to start back up. So yeah, that's that. And then I have a meeting phone call with Transitions Mental Health today. We are doing a five to seven minute yoga session. It's our monthly gathering and I'm really excited about it. Uh, so we'll do that. I have to clean the, after that, I'm probably going to take class. I'm thinking since I'm already doing cardio, I did strength yesterday. So I think I will do cardio today and then I'll do yoga. So 1030 yoga is, is the plan right now. And then I don't know what's going to happen after that. Been having some rough days. It's, I know it's just growing pains and everything at the studio, but it's still just a little bit tough. We're all going to be just fine. The rearrangement that we did at Foothill actually went more or less well. <laughs> we ran into some roadblocks just because our block rack that we want to install it's not fitting into the stud into studs so i don't know like why it's that size when you can't fit it into studs but it's like 46 inches versus 48 and it's like why <laughs> why do why are things designed this way like aren't all studs like a very like, uniformed you know um aren't they all uniformed apart does that make sense so Nick has to install that with like some wood anchors or whatever later, maybe today, probably today. We have to add some baseboards. We also have to add the trim around one of the cubbies, but otherwise it looks really good. I'm going to go in there today for yoga and just like bask in the work that we did. And I mostly mean Nick. He really, he really did the most yesterday and I'm just so appreciative of him. I, as handy as Nick is and as great as it is, I just like, it's almost a curse just because he has to like, he is, he always has to come in clutch and do all these things because we don't have a handyman and no handyman would want to do that type of work because it's like kind of like side work that doesn't pay a lot, but um, yeah. So it's just a little bit of a bummer for him. <laughs> Here we go now, down, up, tap, back, tap, back. Ooh, okay. Oh my God, buddy, buddy, where are you going? Oh, he's trying. Did he hurt? No, he's just trying to get over. 
You're almost there, buddy. You're almost there. All right, buddy, you're good. You seem like it was pretty cool. I was so broken over you. When I gave you everything, when I gave you everything. This is a perfect snake song. It's a good lean song, too. to end this vlog with an outro of me in the car. So basically it's been a very, very treacherous week, but also extremely educational and pivotal, I would say, as far as Spark goes and team and management and all of that. I won't get into it, but I will say it's been challenging for everyone and it's certainly due to just growing pains and what that looks like. And I think we can all agree that growing pains are most of the time messy <laughs> and a little bit chaotic and sometimes discouraging, but also very enlightening. And they force you to really evaluate a lot of things and bring to light also a lot of things that you weren't aware of or things that you didn't realize you were neglecting all of those things on top of many others I'm sure or amongst many others I'm sure but anyway it's Friday so we are capping it right now and uh, just going to try to enjoy the rest of the weekend we're going to see Brass Mash tonight at Concerts in the Plaza which we have not been to a concert there all freaking summer so we got to get on it and Brass Mash is a band not to be missed so I'm really excited to see them and just gonna have ourselves a nice afternoon I'm just so glad that it's Friday I'm just so glad that this week is behind us although I'm very very grateful that we went through it <laughs> if you would have asked me that question if I'm grateful to be going through it like on Tuesday Wednesday the answer would be fuck off <laughs> but we're feeling good about it and uh, I'm excited to go home and to get dressed and just get like clean and get dressed in normal clothes just enjoy the time I'm not even sure if I'm gonna put out this vlog to be honest um, but I did already do some editing work and stuff so I feel like I should just follow through at least with this vlog and maybe take a little bit of a break depending on how I'm feeling but thank you for being here thank you for your interest in my life for whatever reason <laughs> and yay see you soon <laughs>